You got the clock run it out. Use every resource, including your opponent's lack of a will. <laughs> All right, getting into this one though, Dexter versus Crit. So this is a matchup that we've seen a couple times before. Crit has struggled in this because big disjoints, bad for small boy. Mm -hmm. And Wolf is just an immaculate character with amazing buttons. Lucas surprisingly scrappy if you let him get in as well. So I want to see what Lucas can bring to the table. And Dexter is a just amazing the player. <laughs> Look at this. The second yeah. that Dex gets one hit, it, it's all even. Like the, the, what this character can do to floaty characters like Lucas is insane. Wolf. Absolutely not be messed with. Got to be careful near him. Crit's on the back foot, of course. And uh, the interesting thing I'm seeing is, like, uh, Dexter is a great, phenomenal player, but he's been kind of in a slump. I think he started to definitely pick it back up and get it together again. But at the start of offline, he was a little bit shakier than we'd really expect. So I think uh, most of the rust has worn off, but if it hasn't, this could be Crit's time to get a win over. Yeah, I don't think the Dexter played too much in the Wi-Fi era. Yeah, he was... He, him and ZD both kept it to, like, fests. Pretty minimal stuff from a lot of the top players in region. Dash tech not quite going to connect. Dexter definitely looking for the kill. And just Ooh. look at this. We, we basically saw one neutral interaction that crits one, and he got 50 damage out of it. Dex has won like three neutral interactions, and he's basically got this man to, to death percent. Exactly. And he's just keeping him at ledge, keeping him at the ropes, looking for any way to get rid of him. So crits can get a lot of damage when he wins neutral. It just the question is when. That's the thing you've got to get in. And hey, here's his turn to get in. I like that recover from Dex. That's dangerous. Yeah, losing your jump in the process. He tried to do like jump nair jump or jump yeah, something. Exactly. Aggressive option, but Crits holding on to that stock at 165. Great perseverance here. Gets the double jump again, but Smart. great high recovery by Dex. Yeah, and didn't even get the turnaround on the grab from Crits. But hey, still got him in disadvantage. Still got the percentage. Got to be careful because you just picked yourself a ledge. Oh my god, I love the Zair there. That was phenomenal. It makes sense. Like I said, Lucas could scrap at cross ra range. Like he'll cause some problems for you if you're not careful. And Dexter's just like looking for the hey, I need a I need a button real quick. Like any button will do. Please He's to like just try to up smash. smash like three or four times has been interrupted by Chris. I like the high recovery there, keeps him on stage. Uh, oh, just jumping into the sweet spot of the fair as well. It's a weak hit of that. That's this is like Chris is really just running away with this like, right this now. This is phenomenal play by Chris. He's just he's making these interactions like count. Back now back throw should do it at center yeah. stage. He has their two hundred percent. He flew to the blast up top. And, but at the same time, because of Dexter's flub earlier, he is insanely at a deficit right now. Crits can clean up the stock and be a clean one ahead, but the problem is that that was a flub, and Dexter wins these neutral interactions, so... Now you're so, at edge. This is where Lucas does not want to be. He needs room to run against these characters that try to box him in the corner. Gets a little bit of a ledge trap. Great ooh. catch there with the upbeat, but there's so much lag on that move that Dexter's actually able to punish. Being careful with it. Okay. Trixie. A little bit of a fake. Trixie. A little bit of a fake out there, and... I props to Dexter for respecting it, just in case. I know Crits wanted to do the jump there again. He, he, he jumped and like waited to see what Dexter was going to do. Dex held the shield, and Crits like, okay, I can't do this. Back off. That rope snake is mighty long. Good tether all around the fair. Not to, I like the reflector there, actually. Very smart move. Keeps his momentum kind of close to that ledge nearby, but without sacrificing getting obliterated by it. We're at back throw kill percent easily for crits. Again, just trying to go aggressive with that neutral Dex, unable to find these ledge traps he is usually so proficient with. And I like his patience when getting back. Full respect to him, Vic, because it's hard to get around a very good player, and so finally getting the dash stack, and crits got, like, under 40% that stock. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a complete reversal from what we saw. Crits lifted about 200, now Dexter at 160, and now the blaster comes out. And that's really going to be the difference maker in this matchup, is that when Dexter doesn't feel like he has to press, when he doesn't feel like he has to run in, crits can struggle. And taking his, again, taking his time at disadvantage because Kritz isn't pressing him hard enough and not even going to kill across the stage. Yeah, he wanted to go low to avoid the PK freeze because the the, uh, the PK freeze would have probably hit him with side B, but not quite. I think and he uses double jump. That was perfect placement of that move by Kritz. Yeah, great awareness, kind of forcing him to make an error. And this is still pretty close. Dexter needs to be careful because Lucas can run away with this. He keeps trying to up smash and everything that Lucas does beats it. It's so hilarious to see yeah. Wolf be unable to pull off that tool that is so defining in so many other matchups. Jeez, that's a whooping right there though. Chris bursting Ooh. out of that awkward spot. I like that. Getting a ton of damage, but he barely missed the Ooh. forward tilt. Now Dex has the advantage. Looking for anything to kind of clean it up. That back air is, is absolutely disgusting. Got to be careful of that, Crits. And oh no, it's like the jump nair dodge. But hey, he's living. Dexter is living out here. Back on a stage, get up attacks. The only way he was getting out of that alive. Yeah, it was basically that or, or die. Speaking of die, this is anyone's game now. Next, next fat button wins.
Whoever hits that green button hardest. <laughs> Dex already just like, he, he, you're three quarters of a stage away and he's already tossing out back airs. Like, can you please jump into this? I just want to I just want this to be over. Just the tap at the feet with that forward tilt takes it. Crits with that good gimp at the beginning of the game to really set himself up to take it. Dexter, though, almost brought it back from that, so full respect. True. I, I love Kritz's uh, use of that forward tilt. Like, he pivots away and then uses the forward tilt to just basically cover the space where he just was. It's such a powerful whiff punishing tool. You're forcing your opponent to adapt to your spacing and then add an additional, like, character length. And if they don't adapt to that, then uh, you get the hit and detail. I think I need to play on setup 9, so I might dip. I don't know if I should stick around or no, not. No, no, you're, you're good. I can, I can rock this. All right. Got speed. Wanna, yeah, got to keep the bracket rolling. Yeah, exactly. And Godspeed to these players. Exactly. So Crits with a game up. Dex are just going to go ahead and run this right back to Stadium. And it's Crits who gets the first hit, able to make some good percent out of it. But the aggressive grab by Dexter, kind of recognizing the hole in the the string that uh, Crits is trying to fling out. So that, that's the problem is that if Crits, I feel like if he ever like misses a forward air, Dex can respond so easily with either neutral air or a forward air of his own. His moves having a little bit more disjoint that can get, earn him a neutral win a little bit easier. Neutral air again, Crits jumping from edge a little bit too much. Dex recognizing that. No roll in from Crits. Great patience to wait for Dex's option. Back throw. Can't get the PK fire, but does get the down air. Stuns him a little bit, but unable to make too much out of that. Finally, that up smash connects. First one of the set. Dex has been struggling with that move. Crits has been playing around it so well. All right, B and B throw combos to the corner is Crits. <laughs> Point blank range. Dex pulls out the gun. It's like, I'll take that free present. Now Dex is off stage. Dex is doing a really good job of waiting for Crits to toss out that PK fire before using his double jump. So good defensive awareness right there. And we got another commentator hopping up to the mic. This is going to be uh, waifu season. <gasps> What's going on, everybody? How's it going? How's it going? So Dex going, down going one going game. Good. Ooh, the crits. Okay. Now, could you let me know uh, what's been going on in this matchup? Basically, it feels like Dexter wins neutral a little bit more, but Crits has the explosive potential. Um, sure, Dexter sure. basically got gimped really early in game one and was oh, unable yeah. to make the comeback. But yeah, just generally just solid play by both players. These have looked close. Killing has been the trouble. Nobody's like died anything wild. Yeah, well, I mean, dying wildly the wolf is uh, kind of the status quo at times. Oh, like yeah. he has a lot of moves that'll just get you off guard. But Loop is killing a bit late. That's something that surprised me. He has like a lot of kill throws. He definitely ooh. point blank range PK freeze. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I was just remembering my point about how Lucas can struggle to get it, can sometimes get a struggle to get a kill if he can't get a grab, because he does have like a ridiculous amount of kill though, so surprised he's not going for a grab there, actually. Yeah, he's been relying on like that forward tilt, down tilt, down tilt, forward tilt, and just try to get something set up right there, gets the up air for his first stock, so now in a bit of a mountain decline. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he, he tried to get that up tilt start a combo, but unfortunately he just did not get a hitbox to come so that's just going to get a punch on that. Down air? No, goes to the back air instead, but not going to get the sweet spot. Still a good percent. Got him off stage. Oh. The floatiness. Dex has been having a lot of trouble getting that. Uh, oh, nice decision to hold down on that uh, Wolf Flash. I, like, oh, wait, wait, you don't hold down. Wait, and if you hold down on um, Wolf Flash, will it, like, snap to ledge or will it just hit if you... If you're still in hit sun, you won't snap to ledge. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I wanted to make sure there was no wrong information being speeded. No, no, you're right, you're right. <laughs> but yeah, if you're, if you're actively... Ooh, okay, that, finally. That's a nice anti-air on Lucas trying to zare there. So he, yeah, I pointed this out in game one, actually. Like, he struggled with that so much. He, he, he fired off, like, three or four up that got interrupted by Lucas' multi-hits. But now in this game, I think he took two out of those three stocks with the up time. It's, yeah. it's insane, the turnaround right there. Adaptation and adjustment. For sure, for Mark sure. Mark of a good player. And Lucas' is there is a pretty good tool, especially off the ledge. Oh, like, yeah. Like, it's very safe. Like, if you get a hit on it, it basically resets the situation. But that's a very good awareness by Dexter to realize he's probably going to do that. To low, use the low-profile form of the up smash, Dodge that zero completely and just secure that game. Very, very nice stuff there. Well played indeed by both players. It feels like heading into a pivotal game three. It, I don't want to say that Dexter like got a download or anything like that. It felt like Chris's game plan is to, is explosiveness. He wants to open Dex up, get an early stock, and then so play, defensively. play defensively. And that is not something that like is beyond the pale. Chris is really good at like picking his positions, picking his spots. Yep. And with a character like Luke, is someone that can just get so much out of just a single hit. When you have to play from behind, though, it becomes a lot different. Oh, yeah. Suddenly now you, you're just not allowed. You just can't sit back and camp out with PK fire. You have to gotta 
figure out your approach options. You just can't zare on every approach. You gotta actually figure out how you're gonna get in. So far, Dexter just, I didn't even get to see what happened. That man <laughs> hit a forward air back air and he got the sweet spot and he got a big old lead. And now Good this, Lord. just like in game two, Crits is going to have to find a way to play this one behind with Lucas. You see that Zare from the ledge coming out again. Oh, God. Don't do it to him again. Ooh. He tried for the flash, too. Dexter delaying it, trying to go ahead and go up two stocks really early against Crits. Right now, it's nice down tilt to grab, but what's going to be able to get out there? He's going to need to win a lot more neutral exchanges like that. Like, he's having these pokes, and they're still pretty safe, but every now and then Dexter calls out one of them, and Crits yeah. just blows up. That was very nice fate. That was a very nice uh, dash back fair back. It's there. Another air at the ledge. Barely I don't want to have that base. Oh, I feel Crits wanted to up air instead of forward air there. You can definitely see that. Dash attack, forcing Crits to edge. Now, how does he get out of the edge trap? Another air off the ledge. Crits is going to have to get this stop real soon if he wants any chance to try to come back here. Very much agree. We haven't seen a lot of these kill throws like you mentioned before. Yeah, I'm very, surprised. I'm very surprised. Freeze is not going to connect. Good angles again by Dex. The shorts are not going to take him. This is just Lucas struggling to kill. If he doesn't get that stray grab, it's going to take a long while before he can get a kill. Dash attack on the other side. Like Wolf, this is kill percent from a lot of Wolf's kit. Yep. Has to be so careful. I don't um, even know what hitbox that was. Uh, no, no, <laughs> Good no. lord. That up, he's going to seal the deal. Pretty standard stuff for the Earthbound boys against characters like Wolf. Space Spaces. animals? Yep. Yeah. Space animals are they never a fan. They do not like the PK fire. Those are PK fire or the uh, the upbees for both of them. Yeah, but right now it's a, it's looking a little dire for Crits right now. At 146, he just is, he cannot make a single mistake. So I had to act. Oh. Yeah, there's that single mistake you were talking yep, about. There it is. I feel that he assumed his fair space would be good on shield, but not against Wolf. Not even, I'm not even sure if it is based on it's good safe when it's based on shield. Dex is just using these platforms so well, like hiding underneath it and daring Crits to jump in on him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too familiar with Lucas's frame data, but I feel that um Wolf's fair against this character is a uh, quite a good option. Especially if they're leaning inwards to approach. Basically any disjointed aerial on this character's shield is a good option because Lucas's okay. outer shield data is not particularly not. phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Especially if you can cross him up. He doesn't, he doesn't have any tools that can hit both sides of him. Besides just just the up smash, which is really, really slow. does have that invul, but uh, yep. it, that is committable to capital C right there. Yeah, Crits might want to rely on uh, some outlandish options like that. Oh, is Azure going to do anything? Oh, doesn't get the continuous chain. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for that. Except there, but he's still going to get it. Dash attack, that will do it. will take it. So Dex drawing closer. Yep. Slowly inching his way back, and that's that explosiveness of Lucas that you were talking about earlier. Like we were just talking about how it's so. I was just talking about how Lucas it could be so hard to get something going, but once he is able to get something going, he can just string you along. And before you know it, you're just uh, right now we're at an even game. And look at Critch is applying this pressure so masterfully. The explosiveness of this offense, of this offense we're seeing from Critch right now, it's phenomenal. Critchy eye by Critch just getting away from that back here. Oh, he's gonna need that up smash though. Dexter has one thing on his mind. Yep. Please fall into one of these back airs. Please. And right now, Chris is just being patient. Ooh, hit dash tag. Again with yep. these. Zara at the legend. Again, up smash. And uh, just barely killed. I feel that almost didn't kill, but maybe that was just because he was going so slow. I feel you probably could have DI'd that a little better. But regardless, very nice set from both players. But Dexter is going to be taking that 2 1. That. He is. Crits pushing Dex to the limit after taking game one. I wouldn't have been surprised if we saw that reversal there. It really did seem like we saw, we're about to see that point where, like, just Lucas gets a little bit of a head of steam and just starts blasting fools. Yeah, Lucas with, Lucas with momentum is definitely one of the scarier characters in this game. We ha I've seen 